Okay, so now we're going to set the buffalo on cut. So that means that it's cut, we need it so that it cuts paper. 80 gram standard photocopier paper from left to right all the way across the machine. I've switched the fuel off and I've tipped the mower back. So making sure that we wear gloves because these blades are sharp and they will cut, they will even take your fingers off in some extreme circumstances. So wearing your PPE is really important. Our cylinder's fixed. That just rotates in the bearings. We lift and lower the bottom bed knife or, or bottom blade up and down to the cylinder. So, and how we do that, we have two adjusters, one on the left, one on the right. And if we put a spanner, a 916 spanner, onto that adjuster, adjust, take the spanner off, that's it set. So what we need to do, taking standard 80 gram paper, we put that between, keeping your fingers out of the way, we put that between the cylinder and the bottom blade and rotate the blade, the cylinder by hand. As you can see, we're not cutting the paper. And if it's not cutting the paper, it's not going to cut the grass on the pitch either. It'll be doing exactly the same. Here you'll just get a bruising effect and not an efficient cut. We check the left hand side. That's also not cutting. Also check in the middle as well. That also is not cutting. So what we need to do, we need to bring the bed knife up to the cutting cylinder with as little contact as possible, but making sure we actually cut the paper like a pair of scissors. So what I need to do, raise the bed knife, so I put my 916 spanner onto the adjuster, adjust fractionally anti-clockwise, which is bringing it on cut a little more, and just check again. Put the paper in, just a little bit more on cut, try it again. Now cutting beautifully, yep, cutting perfectly, check in the middle, yep. Checking, making sure that we end up with clean, efficient cuts across the paper all the way along. We now know that this cylinder is cutting. We, we need just a very light whisper against the bottom blade. If we wind the bottom blade too closer to the cutting cylinder, it's going to create heat, it's going to blunten the blades very, very quickly, but it's also going to put extra stress on the drive system. So we just want a very light whisper across the, across the, the blades of the machine cutting the paper nice and efficiently.